Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Recently, the mother of a very good friend of mine sent me an email uh, right before I was to have my baby to wish me luck with the delivery and to just send her blessings. And I thought it was such a wonderful gesture. I immediately got on my Blackberry and I started to write her back. And then I pressed send. And after I pressed send, I realized that I had addressed my friend's mother by her first name instead of calling her Mrs. So-and-so, which I had always done prior to this point. Obviously, this is not the end of the world. My friend's mother didn't care, I don't think. But it was a little bit embarrassing for me because we had never had that conversation where she said, oh, please call me by my first name. I just went ahead and called her by her first name really thoughtlessly over my email. I wanted to bring this topic up because I think it's a really relevant issue right now. Etiquette and the modern way in which we communicate with each other via email, Facebook, on Twitter. We can send off a message so quickly and not really even think about the proper etiquette of the situation. See, it's easy to go from formal to casual, but once you go casual, it's very tricky to go back to formal. So it's like, now I don't know what I should do. Should I start calling her Mrs. So-and-so, or should I just call, keep going and call her by her first name? I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you because I want you to learn from my mistakes. Next time you're sending an email or a message to someone, and you're in a rush, just take a moment to pause and think about the proper etiquette of the situation. How should you address them? Obviously, if you're communicating with an old friend or someone you communicate with all the time, this is not an issue. But if it's a new person or someone who requires a certain amount of respect on your end, it's good to just pause and think about it right before you send off your email. So that is the etiquette tip for today. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.